Hi, I've missed you guys. I've missed making YouTube content and to be honest a lot has been go has been going on so we can deep dive into that um, video while I do my makeup of course and um, I'm trying out this new technique that I found on TikTok and it's where you put blush underneath your eye concealer because it blends out and it makes it look like some type of way it's supposed to be pretty I don't know but we're gonna be trying that whilst talking about why I left YouTube Listen. I'm so glad to be here you guys don't even understand how many times I've tried to create this video but it just didn't happen it didn't come out right or I just wasn't you know feeling it like I should have um, as a youtuber looking in at other youtubers I see why a lot of them be going on these long hiatuses granted I don't even have like the reach and I don't have the following of some of these big youtubers but I get the gist of why they be gone so long and it's it's because it, it this internet shit is no joke like it's it's no joke okay one day it'll make you feel good the next day social media will drop you on your head and then before you know it you're canceled before you know it your content's not reaching who it needs to reach before you know your shadow ban and now it's messing with your income and it's just so much you just never know with social media and so when these youtubers and people go on social media hiatuses please just respect it i'm not gonna even lie i was not making no money on youtube all the work that i was putting into my channel and really trying to set goals for myself and reach what i needed to reach and do things and you know what i mean make it better for the viewer and just kind of like fueling my passion the more that i was putting work into this channel i just wasn't yielding enough to break even you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i still got bills right i was utilizing youtube as my main source of income thinking if i did that then you know what i mean something was gonna give and i was gonna be able to fully just commit and be able to live off of just making videos and whatnot and that was cool for a moment then shit got real you know what i mean life happened youtube changed i don't know what's going on with youtube youtube don't even know what's going on with youtube the way that people consume content these days is very different um so youtube is kind of stuck between do i hop on the trend and be short video formatted or do i stay true to what we always been and what we've always known is to be long formatted video platform and see where it goes because again times change people change and one thing this is hot the next thing it just isn't and youtube just ain't hot right now you know what i mean youtube's algorithm sucks people are more so on tiktok and what they can learn in a one minute video they can now learn on tiktok in within 30 seconds and it's just like people don't want to sit and watch videos no more people want to just get to it and scroll on to the next you know it's easier to go viral on tiktok it's easier and with minimal effort you can get followers get views do what you gotta do and then get off you don't even have to make it pretty you can just upload and say your opinion on something and then go viral like it's just that easy and I feel like youtubers have found like a platform where it's less effort for more views more followers more money more sponsorships and more audience you know it's just more for less <laughs> and who doesn't want that right now if YouTube's algorithm and pay wasn't enough, my personal life, 
I didn't know when I was gonna have my next meal. I didn't know where I was gonna live. I didn't know how I was gonna pay my credit card bills, like all four of them, because I didn't max them out, fueling my passion. Um, I didn't know who was on my side and who was against me. Um, I didn't know who was genuinely my friend. I didn't know if I was even worthy to get back on YouTube and do videos because I didn't know if I wanted to do this for long term because the way that it was looking, it was just terrible. Um, personal life was just getting more and more weird. When the camera turns off, are you really happy? And I, when, the, when this motherfucker got off, I was in shambles. I was in shambles. Everything was in shambles. Like I was not happy. I wasn't happy. I was sad most of the time. I was in my feelings most of the time. Unsure a lot of the times. And I just couldn't, I couldn't create like that. I couldn't create and be proud of what I made because I just feel like shit. I went broke. I had to Instacart. I had to DoorDash to um, make ends meet. I had to sell my Canon M50 if you guys um, remember me showcasing that camera and so excited about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make all this content and this da, 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 and all these videos. I'm so excited, so happy. Um, I had to sell that camera. I had to sell my iPhone 12 Pro Max um, and go back to my iPhone 8 that I had because I didn't have no money okay <laughs> I had to sell these things to pay my bills and what that all taught me was that sometimes you got to take two steps back to go five steps forward you know what I mean it it may not be what it looks like right now but this is what it is okay so are you gonna drown or are you gonna float like so I decided to float <laughs> I decided to flow now was it ever easy no because emotionally like i said i was just damaged i feel like damaged i was sad i was depressed and always unsure but it it has to happen for a reason i've always kept a positive mind and granted i'm still alive and a lot of people i can say don't make it you know they go into these dark places, they, this depression, and they don't make it back out, okay? But I've made it back out, and I'm here to tell you that I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay now. Um, I still have my job. that I'm gonna utilize until, you know, whatever, until I feel like, you know, I'm comfortable again or way more, way past comfortable. My credit score is good. <laughs> my credit score went back up, okay. All of my uh, credit cards are paid off for sure. And I've been going home, I've been at peace, I've been meditating and I'm okay. I'm okay. Am I all the way like fulfilled? No, but I'm okay. I'm way better than I was. So I'm gonna stop there, put a hold on that topic, and we're gonna get into this TikTok hack that I seen. The setting powder is here. I'm gonna take some of the setting powder, some of the setting powder on my brush, smush it with the blush. Brush, blush, I feel like I'm rapping. I'll be the next rapper. And I'm mixing it so it creates um, an even distribution of powder. And I'm just placing that pink blush underneath my eye. It's right under here and there. Does it look any different? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, in person it, it, it looks different. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So this is the side with the blush. No blush. 
I think there is a, like a, a softer, more flesh tone look to it on this side. I will say it's not bad. Um, mm. Would I use this in an everyday routine? Shit, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It actually looks nice. It looks more doll-like. It doesn't look bad at all. Oh! This is the look, and I really, really like it, but it always hasn't been bad for me. Um, I have had some good things that happened to me, one being my job that literally saved me from tanking, okay? Um, I have gotten a job, so that's a plus. Um, my credit score went up, so that's a plus. I've gotten the opportunity to be one of Ipsy's creators in their open studios. I also have had multiple offers with Dossier. I've also done things for a celebrity, a certain celebrity named Saweetie. Um, she used my recipe and I won the contest because she really liked it. She even mentioned my name. So that was like really, really nice and validating for a little moment. You know what I mean? It's not nothing big, but it was nice. It was really really nice on YouTube I have um, reached my threshold of 20,000 subscribers so I'm grateful for that you know I like I wasn't uploading I didn't see why people was still subscribing and stuff like that cuz the channel had kind of just went dead for a minute so I didn't understand that but I was grateful that people were still interested so that 20k was hard earned very hard earned but I appreciate I appreciate it a lot I seen this one video on TikTok where this guy was kind of putting things into perspective and that video made me realize that I need to be more grateful and not look at what it looks like right now and just look ahead and just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Just stay resilient, keep going. So with that being said, moving forward on my YouTube channel, I'm going to do my very best because I am busy now, quite busy. Uh, I am going to do my best <laughs> to upload more and if you have any ideas any topics that you guys want to talk about please list them down in the comments or you can personally message me and shoot me a dm on instagram and i just want to see what you guys think you know i don't I, i'm unsure i don't know where this is going but you guys can shoot me a comment and we can see what we should talk about next I think okay but thank you guys so much I love you and I appreciate you guys for being here until the next video